I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 7th of January. Our winter weather system is knocking on the door this morning. So it's we're looking this thing right in the face. Let's take a look at it. We'll start with the sky cam images over in uh, Mississippi, a couple of them. This is Greenwood over in the Delta. And they've had a wintry mix over there this morning of sleet, snow, and light freezing rain. And as you can see, looking in downtown Greenwood, uh, there's no snow accumulation there. Now, Tupelo, Mississippi, that's in the northeastern part of the state, it's dry. They have not had anything, to my knowledge, reaching the ground yet. And the same thing for a Hamilton, although within the last couple of moments, I've had a report of light snow down in Fayette County from uh, one of our sky watchers in Fayette. He has light snow and uh, uh, 30 degrees, nothing especially heavy and nothing on the ground. But that's the area we'll watch this morning. There's the water vapor satellite shot. The upper low is uh, north of us and slowly dropping south. And there's a look at the numbers this morning. These are at 4 o'clock and everybody below freezing. Cold spot, Montgomery at 22. Uh, of course, the clouds are uh, keeping temperatures steady around here. Birmingham at 31, Tuscaloosa 28. And uh, this morning, we'll have two forces working. First off, the daytime heating process. The numbers should come up slowly. But on the other hand, we will have evaporative cooling uh, that will kind of offset that. So those numbers will not change much today. And there's the radar. This is the Columbus, Mississippi radar at the insane hour of 448. And a lot of that you see over Alabama is not reaching the ground. Again, we had some report of light snow in Fayette, but uh, a lot of that not down at the surface yet. What you see over Mississippi is, and again, we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, the, the, it just still seems to us like the best combination of moisture and cold air deep enough for snow will be over the central part of our state. Look at the uh, watch warning map, and you can see winter weather advisories cover a large chunk of the east. In Alabama, the Weather Service last night pulled that southward to include Marengo, Dallas, Lowndes, Montgomery, Macon, and Russell counties. Uh, and uh, probably not a bad call. Weather Service in Jackson still maintains a winter storm warning for the U.S. 82 corridor, which is the northern fringe of their county warning area. Uh, and let's uh, go right to the modeling here. This is the NAM, and this is at 6 o'clock this evening. And uh, the one thing that might be a little different is uh, the timing here. looks like it's going to be a little later than we had kind of thrown out, uh, uh, perhaps late morning through afternoon and early evening. But, uh, again, you can see the deeper moisture is down south. Very limited moisture up north, and that's the reason all along we've talked about the better chance of getting one or two inches over the central part of the state with not much for the north. Uh, the GFS, very identical. Very limited moisture north of Birmingham. So in the overall scheme of things, we just don't see any reason to change that. Uh, dusting the one inch north of Birmingham. Potential for an inch or two. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Aniston south for about 50 or 60 miles. In a wintry mix from Montgomery on south. As the day progresses, and we'll just see how the whole thing pans out. We don't expect any driving problems this morning because it's dry. We are below freezing. And uh, then as the precipitation finally starts to reach the ground, we'll probably be in the mid-30s at midday today. So, again, uh, the, the roads initially will be just wet. But this evening, as we go below freezing, late afternoon, that's when some slick spots could be an issue. And, again, this is just a light snow. This is not an ice storm, not a major winter storm, but uh, slick spots a real possibility on the bridges and mainly the high terrain roads uh, tonight and tomorrow morning. So uh, tomorrow, cold air advection, that's a story. Again, all along, this cold air is, is the big news. Uh, an Arctic invasion, highs in the 20s, wind chill index readings in the single digits tomorrow. And then Saturday, you can see that strong Vortmax diving down through the base of the trough, coming down uh, around uh, Branson, Missouri. And uh, down below that, that could squeeze out a few snow flurries or showers on Saturday. It won't, won't amount to much, but it will simply make it colder. Again, highs only in the 20s, still breezy with single-digit wind chills. And then Sunday, and I, Sunday morning looks like the coldest morning. Uh, you know, uh, that's when the winds will be lighter, the cold air will be deeper, if there is snow cover, uh, single digits, if snow, snow, snow cover around 10 degrees. Uh, but the bottom line is uh, very, very uh, cold, dangerous type cold over the weekend, pipe bursting type cold. 
And then Monday of next week, we start to moderate. Highs uh, getting back in the low 40s. Tuesday, hey, we'll be pushing 50. Won't that be nice? Don't know if we'll make 50 or not. Uh, modifying this Arctic air is kind of hard to do. And then Wednesday, uh, at the moment, looks dry. Still looks like the next major system's out there toward the end of next week. This is mid-month, January 15th. Uh, negative tilt trough, very dynamic system. And, boy, that looks awfully wet. Uh, surface low uh, near Biloxi, Mississippi, with potential for heavy rain with that thing in mid-month. And, again, for now, it looks like all rain. And then five days later, here comes another one. And, boy, you can see the El Nino uh, a negative AO thing. In the northern branch, you got the uh, ridge over western Canada and the downstream trough, the active southern stream beneath that, and boom, there's your storm in the Gulf. And some potential for snow on that graphic for Arkansas with mostly rain here. And then uh, as it moves northeast, it changes to snow here. And it, this is pure voodoo to speculation. It's not a forecast. We're just looking. But something like that is certainly possible. So it looks like a cold and active month of January ahead. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. That's uh, alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And the next Weather Extreme video should be posted here by 3.30 or so today. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.